trouble. Well, why don't we just throw ourselves on the mercy of the court and beg the judge to discount yeah. all the testimony? Couldn't yeah. familiar really destroyed their case. Yeah. And drop the prosecutors yes. right into his mouth. Uh, yes, I have. I, I just came through. All right, Champlain. Deal with him just the way I told you. Uh, yeah. I just hope the judge lets him testify. Uh, yeah. No one way to find out. Uh, Your Honor, the defense would like to call another witness to the stand, if What's I may. This? Who is it you wish to call? Uh, Dr. Louis Champlain, the director of the Maple Leaf Sanitarium, the institution where Camellia Mackay was hospitalized. Your Honor, this is highly unusual. The defense case is absolutely not. This case is highly unusual and may well require unorthodox methods. I know of Dr. Champlain. His work is well known in Canada. The court will hear his testimony. The witness will please take the stand. Oh. Place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. I'm not so sure this is a good it's idea. Except the there is a last resort to If you and Camelia walk, it's going to be because of his testimony. I do. State your name? Dr. Louis Champlain. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Dr. Champlain, uh, when did you first meet uh, Camelia Mackay? Approximately four years ago. Her father and brother brought her to Maple Leaf home. And uh, what sort of shape was she in? She was in a deep state of shock. Objection, Your Honor. The defendant's condition at the time she was introduced to Dr. Champlain could have resulted from any number of different stimuli, such as having murdered her lover. But, Your Honor, the doctor is merely describing the psychological, emotional state of the defendant at the time. He's in no way inferring what caused the shock. Your Honor, if I may. Please, Dr. Champlain. I know for a fact that Camellia was attacked by Mr. Jerome. When she arrived at the home, she relived the entire experience for me. She told me exactly what happened that night. You realize you're contradicting the defendant's sworn statement to the police. Both Miss Mackay and Mr. Lavery reported she suffered a partial amnesia, which caused her to completely forget her bedroom rendezvous. Exactly. What was crystal clear to Camellia at first gradually began to blur and then vanish altogether. Within days, she couldn't remember Evan Jerome's name, the man who had tried to rape her. Your Honor, this is still hearsay. No. I am afraid it is, Dr. Champlain, unless you can give direct proof of your conversation with the defendant on the night she relived the events in question. Uh, short of a tape recording. Oh, I have that tape, Your yeah. Honor. I routinely record the researches of my patients. And uh, on it, she describes what happened that night with Mr. Jerome. Your Honor, this tape is clearly Your Honor, inadmissible. Your Honor, justice demands that this tape be heard. Gentlemen, I will hear arguments from both sides. Should this court listen to Dr. Champlain's tape or not? Silence. <clears throat> Since Miss Mackay has given her permission, it is the decision of this court to allow Dr. Champlain to play his tape. But it will not be placed in evidence. After I hear the recording, I will make a determination what weight it shall carry in these deliberations. You may proceed, Dr. Champlain. Duke told me then he, 
He said we were brother and sister. I didn't believe him. I just... I thought he wanted to get rid of me or something. I, but he seemed as hurt about it as I was. I, Duke told me that there could never be anything between us. That it was just fortunate that we found out when we did. That I couldn't truly be his. And this hurt you? Yes, yes. And uh, I was so confused. I felt that Duke was to blame somehow. I, I, all I know is I just, I wanted to hurt him back. That's why I came on to Evan. I flirted with him shamelessly. I don't know what got into me. But then I realized what I was doing. I didn't care for Evan. I was just using him. So I thanked him for the dances and I went upstairs to my room. I didn't know that he would follow me. I was resting on my bed when Evan broke in. He had been drinking, and he was loud and crude. And he said terrible things to me. He, he, he threatened to force himself on me. I told him to get out. <laughs> it's when he hit me. I screamed, but he just kept hitting me, and then he started tearing off my clothes, and I, I tried to fight him, but he was just so strong. I had never been with a man before. He hurt me, doctor, and then he touched me. And he kept hitting me and touching me. I never... I didn't know. I thought Evan was going to kill me. Oh, God, I wish he had. Why wasn't I the one to die? going away with Robin. Yeah, but we'll take a little trip. Oh, I think that's the best thing in the world for you and Robin. What are you going to do? Oh, I go over my cousin's house. Don't worry about me. Oh, it's good for you to be with your daughter at last for a little while. It may not be all we need. What do you mean? Well... Would you be very upset if the three of us had to leave Port Charles for good? I mean, you're the only one that has family here. You and Robin are my family. Wherever you go, Philomena goes. I only want what's best for you. You should know about that. Yeah. I sort of suspected as much. Oh, I wish I could get you and Duke together again. Oh, no matter what you say, Anna, I believe that that would be the best thing for you and Robin. But I cannot make a miracle. Hmm. If I could make a miracle, I would not be here. I would be at that hearing with Duke. This court is now in recess. I shall deliberate and return with my final decision as soon as possible. Well, what do you think? I don't know, Duke. I was 
trying to watch the judge's expression, I couldn't catch a glimpse of which way he was leaning. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Kadai, I just hope the hell community didn't go through all this for nothing. All I can say is, right now, it could go either way. It's a wonderful opportunity. We can go wherever we want in the entire world for however long we want. We've got it made. Oh, I'm worried. Your friends are going to be so envious of you. Yeah, we'll send them lots of postcards. Probably we don't know where we're going to send the postcards from yet. The world is your oyster. I don't like oysters. Oh. <laughs> what about lobsters, then? Maybe you like those. Come on, you can choose a place. Just hope there's no oysters. Here's the atlas, and here is every place in the world. If you choose somewhere that we like enough, maybe we'll stay there. You really think so? Yeah, I do. Open it up, close your eyes, choose a place. And what if you don't like what I choose? Oh, I'm easy to please. Don't worry. Go on. your resignation and you think it's a mistake well I did it it's done well I can't help worrying about you what are you gonna do now um, vacation I think hmm. where will you go I don't know somewhere quiet where I can relax get my head in order it's not a bad idea I think it's very important that Robin and I go away together you know so she realizes that our life isn't over how long you be gone? I don't know. It's the nice thing about being in this position, you know, I don't have a time limit. Well, I want to make sure you're in good financial shape in case it's an extended trip, so for openers, I'll have all your bills delivered to me. That'll take some pressure off you. I can't let you do that. Hey, uh, if there's one thing you don't need right now, it's financial constraints. Well, you're not responsible for us. I happen to be one of Robin's three godfathers, remember? And I care about you. I want your mind at ease. You make me feel like a damsel in distress. Anna, it's no sign of weakness to put yourself in someone else's hands. Which reminds me, do you have a good travel agent? A bad travel agent can cause you all sorts of problems. No, I haven't. There's an excellent travel agent at the Port Charles Hotel. I'll get her started mapping out an itinerary for you. What, what kind of vacation do you want? Something low-key, I suppose. Yeah, well, um... Uh... Be careful. You don't want Robin to get bored. Well, how about one of those dude ranches? Little girls love horseback riding. Robin could learn a new skill, and it'd be a real change of pace for you. I don't really see myself at a dude ranch. I don't think you see yourself any place right now. That's why I'm trying to help. Do I look that lost and confused? Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give that impression, but I'm perfectly confident at running my own life. Anna... I wasn't trying to run your life. I know. It's not your fault. Maybe you just made me realize what I've got to do. No, nothing right now, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing to say right now. No, nothing. I couldn't even get anything out of the court clerk. Whatever the judge is thinking, he's keeping it to himself. Well, we'll know soon, Edith. How are you? The reporters are like vultures. Northern Camellia, the standard courtroom scene. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for me. If I hadn't put Mark Cullen onto that story, everything would be different. Sorry, I'm here. I keep... Can you think of a way to make it up? We all know how badly you feel, but what's done is done. Well, speaking of Carlin, he just walked in. Just ignoring the man's history. 
judge sits. Is this a recess or what? No, it's all over, but the judge's decision should be soon. Where were you? <sighs> Poor Charles, covering the resignation of our beloved police chief. Did I miss something exciting? It was dynamite. Labery and Mackay both took the stand. Whoa, that's a surprise. A hell of a tactical error, if you ask me. Kincaid tried to save the day by having the girl's former psychiatrist play a tape of her reliving the killing. Uh, I hope you took good notes, Sidney. Very good notes. Good. Make me a copy? Sure, after I file my story. Hey, buddy, need I remind you that if it weren't for me, this whole circus would never have taken place? Mr. Callan, we missed you today. It was very stirring. Mr. Callan is the one that broke the case, you know, and he stayed at my inn during the investigation. Oh, he's a very persistent man. I know. <laughs> All I think about when I see that man is how he made mincemeat out of Anna and Tiffany's shell. Yes, I remember. But to see someone you love being humiliated like that, it's worse than having a dug yourself. I won't call him to pay for that. Anything you do will only boomerang and make it worse for Anna. She must be having a tough enough time doing her job with all that pressure from the department. Over here. Hello. Any uh, comment on the hearing, Mr. Lavery? Nothing that you could print. Mm-hmm. I'm certain my reliable little source uh, has something to say for the record, huh? Kids, come on, take advantage. Surely you want to say something on your own behalf before the decision comes in. The court is reconvening. needed a prescription refill. Now, where were we? Uh, thank you. Robin is now pouring over the Atlas in total fascination. I think that that deserves a toast. Oh, what magic did you work with her? She just sensed my change in attitude. Thank you. Well, what did I do? It inspired me to take control of my life. I'm gonna snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's the game plan? I don't know. <laughs> I know this much, though. I am going to take control of my life. I can't sit around here waiting for it to happen for me. I'm going to go out there and find my own future. Not that you need my approval, but I heartily approve. Mm. On behalf of the new Anna Devane, I thank you. Yeah, well, uh, uh, the new Anna Devane reminds me a great deal of that very strong woman I knew before all this happened. I'll remember that when the going gets rough. Good. Now, what about those vacation plans? Something else I realized. See, Buzz, I wasn't planning a vacation. I was planning an escape. And I can't do any more running away. You gonna stay in Port Charles? No. Now, I'm gonna go somewhere, but I'm not gonna go and lose myself. I'm gonna go and find my life. Don't ask me where, because this is just the first day. <laughs> You'll be just fine. Yeah, I will. I've got the know-how. I can find myself a new job. Build a life for Robin and Philomena and myself. You are amazing. I haven't felt this positive in months. Thank you. At the risk of, um... Isn't there something I can do to help? Yeah. Anything you say. I want you to keep the keys to this apartment. See, Robin and I, we might find somewhere else other than Port Charles to live, and we may not come back. I see. I mean, it might not happen, but it's a possibility. No, I hope not. I want only the very best for you, Anna, but I hope you find it again here in Port Charles. We'll see. You're a... Bravest woman I've ever known. Oh, come on. Yeah, I you are. Have... Well, I'm determined. It's a big world out there, and I'm determined to make my mark on it. And if I have to do it alone, with Robin, then so be it. Should be any minute now. 
At least we know he's made up his mind to certain relief and knowing that. Jay, he's ready. Forty session. <clears throat> we live by common law. Common law is not based on hearsay, assumption, or rumor, or on the impaired testimony of a suspect temporarily incapacitated. It is important that all parties understand that. Agreed. Does this mean he's coming down on our side? It's a good sign, but don't get your hopes up yet. Quiet in the courtroom, please. All of this by way of reminding you that the burden of proof is on the district crown prosecutor. And since there was nobody, no substantiating evidence from the family of the alleged victim, the court has but one conclusion. The charges must be dropped and the defendants released. <laughs> Judge would do that. It's only fair, you know. Camellia has always been a perfectly sweet girl. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Well, you should be too. I, for one, I'm happy that it's all over and Camellia is safe. I wouldn't bet on that. Home, Mr. Lavery. Surely you would like them to know how happy you are to have gotten away with what you did. Forget it, Carlin. Mm -hmm. We're leaving. Come on. You, uh, you might find this interesting. I don't believe it. I don't want to believe it. I thought Anna would be strong enough to hold on. Anna's only human. There's a limit how much she could take. Oh, no. Oh, I feel so sorry, Frank. Look, I'm Please, Camellia, not just... Uh, surely you would like to say something on Miss Devane's behalf? Mm -hmm. Your paper, Mr. Carlin. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Excuse me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. We'll be in touch. You bet. But that's all. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you very much. I want to thank you, you know, for everything. I am really going to miss you and Robin. Yeah. You tell Robin that her godfather, Buzz, is only a phone call away. Oh, I will. She's very big on telephone. I'm counting on that. Let's just look at my phone bill. <laughs> Any idea what your first stop might be? Maybe Manhattan. I've been thinking about it, and it'd be good for her to see all the sights again. Well, that wouldn't be much of a novelty for either of you, would it? Yeah, but you forget, you see, we've never been there together. We've never lived there as mother and daughter. I've forgotten that phase of your life. Such a long time ago, she was so little. I don't know, the more I think about it, I think that New York would be a good idea. She could see all the things that she's read about. Then it might well be New York for you. Lots of good job prospects for me. I can't argue with that. And... <sighs> it wouldn't be a half a world away, either. Right. I still hope you'll come back to Port Charles. We'll see. Take care. I haven't seen it with all the new lights and stuff. You bet. It'll be the first sightseeing place we go to. And a handsome cab ride? Definitely. Darling, this is going to be the best time of our lives. I'm afraid we're out of luck, Duke. There are no more flights to Port Charles until morning. In that case, I want to be on the first available flight tomorrow. Anna may not want to see me, but I want to be there for her. She's going through hell. As you said, there's just so much pressure a person can take. Yeah, the humiliation, the pressure to resign. I've turned her life into a shambles. 
No, it's my fault. I started everything, and now you and Anna are suffering for it. The judge may have let me off, but I have a lot to pay for. Duke, I know I can never repair the damage that I've done. Please forgive me. It'd be easy to forgive you. It took me a long time to forget, though. I'm going to go and make supper. I think it would be best if Camellia stays with me for a few days. Let me know what you decide, Camellia. I'm going to make those reservations tonight. Camellia? It'll help you recover from this ordeal. All right. Good. Come and help me make supper, huh? You know something? Bobby and I have been through some pretty tough spots together. Sometimes I thought we'd never work it out. We did. But I'm trying to tell you, Duke, don't give up on Anna. You know how much, you know how much this job meant to her? Go ahead as planned. Evan may uh, not have meant anything to his family, but he meant everything to me. And we're going to get his revenge. I saw the, the morning paper. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Yeah. Don't be. I'm kind of relieved I've resigned now. It must have been a, a terrible decision for you to make. I know how much the... I know how much the job meant to you. It's done. As I said. Look, uh, we, we don't have to talk about this on the telephone, you know. There's nothing more to talk about. I thought I made that clear. No. Things have changed. We, we can work this out. The judge has made a decision, you know, that I'm free. I'm glad to hear that. Oh. You sound happy. Do, don't you understand? I mean, we can be together. No. We can't. I won't be here. What time is it? About 7.30. Is that going to give us enough time? I'd, I'd hate to have to miss the plane. We'll be all right. Yes. 
Tracy calling Bobby and telling her we're stranded in Toronto for a night. How long are we going to stay in New York? Well, it really depends on how we feel. Should I take a bathing suit? Can I go swimming? Yeah, there'll be a pool at the hotel. Can I go horseback riding? You can do anything you like in New York City. Can we go on a hike? I should think walking around the city is enough of a hike. I mean, like a real hike. Should I take my boots? Well, you want to be comfortable. Well, if we're going on a hike, I need my boots. Well, take them. How long are we going to stay? I don't know. That depends on how we feel. Well, how am I supposed to know what to take? If all right, all right, all right. I don't right, know what we're doing, right. but how long we're... A few things we have to sort out. Take the bathing suit. And I think that taking the boots is a very good idea. And they need a bigger suitcase. No, you can fit it in the small suitcase. No, everything will fit. Well, you don't have to take everything. I have to. A bathing suit doesn't take much room. The boots are big. Okay. Let's see if we can get everything to fit, shall we? My stuff still won't fit. Well, we have to make it fit, and we have to make it fit fast, because Sean's going to be here in a while to take us to the airport. Didn't you hear me? We have to hurry. Come on. I thought you wanted me to help you pack. I don't want you to help me pack. I don't want to go to New York City, period. about going to New York City. I don't want to go. I want to stay home. But it's only going to be for a while. Well, I want to... Well, I want to try out for the school play. You never mentioned that. Well, I forgot. Well, if I do go away, then I'll miss the tryouts. And I want to be in it. Okay. I wish you'd mentioned this. Well, maybe we can come back for those. How about that? Well, I don't want to miss Stacy's party either, and if I don't go, she'll get mad at me. I didn't realize you felt like this. I don't want to miss Stacy's party. I don't want you to miss anything either, darling. But I do want you to be grown up. Um, I mean, not that you're not grown up, but I want you to be a bit more grown up, and I want you to just try and understand. Well, even if I do, I still don't want to go. Sometimes when things become confusing or disappointing or they, they just don't turn out the way that you hoped they would, then it's a good idea to sort of put some time and distance between what happened and what you're going to do next. Uh, I'm not explaining this very well. But maybe, I mean, do you kind of like, maybe understand what I'm trying to say? Maybe. Oh, that, that's not the only reason that I want to go to New York. I mean, I think it's very important for a young lady of your stature to go and live in the city for a while. For well, how long? As long as it takes, I suppose. And then we can come back to Port Charles. Yeah. I guess. Uh, just to pick up the things we've left here, I suppose. And this was only a vacation. Well, it's, it's more of an adventure. And people that go away on vacations, they just go away for a little while, and then they come back home. Oh, we can't even stop. We have to go, don't we? Yes, darling, we really do. But it, oh, it's going to be so much fun. I and mean, we're going to take the shuttle tonight. And then we're going to we're going to live in this this wonderful hotel room that's thirty stories above the city. And then and then we can we can go swimming at midnight in the pool. And then we can stay up all night and we can look at the diamonds of the lights on the city. And then in the morning, first thing in the morning, we'll go to the Empire State Building. You're going to like that. I know you are. I don't know. Maybe. You are. Believe me. You're gonna love it. And then, uh... I don't know, maybe we can go uh, roller skating at the Rockefeller Center. And then after that, we can go to the zoo at Central Park. Um, well, there's a zoo here. Yeah, but this one's different, you see. You can feed the animals there. Perhaps we can go to the Metropolitan Museum. Oh! I know what you'll love. You'll love the history, the Natural History Museum. You'll love it. They've got a dinosaur there. A real dinosaur? Well, it's a skeleton of a real dinosaur. Well, I've seen pictures of a real dinosaur. Oh. Perhaps then we can... We can go to the ballet. 
Or we can go to the planetarium. Or we can go to see a Broadway play. Oh, aren't you even the remotest bit, like, excited about going to New York City? Well, I need a bigger suitcase if I'm gonna take my roller skates. You don't have to take your roller skates. Well, you said we were going skating. Oh, but you can hire them. You can hire them at Rockefeller Center. I don't understand this. Why take a heavy suitcase when you don't have to? There's nobody that can carry the suitcase for us. I don't understand you. Normally, you're so helpful. You're so nice. You're just being like a spoiled brat. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, darling. You're not being a spoiled brat. It's Duke, isn't it? I know I'm asking a lot, darling, but I'd like you to be very grown up about this. Will you try? I can do it. I mean, we can only try. I can really do it, Mommy. I will. I love you so much. Oh, I love you too, darling. I don't know what I'd do without you. You should be feeling good. Good? Yes. Without the judge's decision, you're free. I've lost. I've lost the, the one thing that matters. I wouldn't be too sure. I think all she needs is a little time. I've lost her. Where the hell is your faith, man? She doesn't have any left. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about you. Your faith in her. Your faith in your relationship. Your faith in your love for her. That would bring her back. Certainly not if you give up so easily. You know, I'm really disappointed in you, Duke. I never took you for a man that gives up. You're a very good attorney, but you're one lousy psychologist. Just call on the way I see it. Did you see that sign? Would you like a drink? Anyone call me? Uh, no. In that case, I'll have some wine. <laughs> oh, okay. How's Greta? Oh, Greta's fine. She's fine. And I'd like to keep her that way, too. Oh, uh, are you still concerned about her safety? Yeah, now more than ever. Oh, thank you. I didn't think that she was one of your most favorite people. She wasn't. Oh. What's happened to change your mind? And then tonight, I can hear it. Well, I've gotten to know her, that's all. Ooh. Judging by the tone in your voice and the gleam in your eye, I'd say you'd like to get to know her a bit better. Oh, you can take the cop away from the girl, but you can't take the girl away from the cop, huh? Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> that's how it goes, but I'm right, aren't I? Well, she's not exactly my type, anyway. <laughs> oh, that's a yes, if ever I heard one. I've been uh, you denied a slightly well, failed yes, but a yes. Well, I guess I can't fool an old friend like you. So I do confess, I find the lady to be, uh... Courageous, fascinating, attractive. I'm sure the feeling's mutual. You think you're surprised. What about me? I, I never expected something like this to happen. No, I'm not surprised. I'm very happy for you. Well, no, no, wait a minute. Just take it easy here. I don't know where this is going to go, if it's going to go at all. But whatever it is, it's, it feels pretty good. Well, just enjoy it. Good luck. My teddy bear won't fit. Well, darling? Well, a girl can't go anywhere without her teddy bear. Sean! Sean! Oh, oh, oh! Now, how is that for a bear hug, huh? Are you coming? Only as far as the airport, baby. Robin's not very sure about this whole endeavor. Now, you, Pumpkin Face, are going to the greatest city in the world. I've been to them all, and New York is the best. For grown-ups, maybe. If they take little kids along. I'm not a little kid. Oh, that's right, you are. Now, you see, you start thinking about New York, and already you're a young lady. And I suggest we take this young lady on a handsome cab ride oh, through Central yes. Park, huh? We'll do it, yes. Okay. I think it's time to go now. Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. I'll go get my coat and say goodbye to my, all my friends. She has more kids than that? It's her stuffed animals. He doesn't want to say goodbye to them. 
Oh, maybe I should cool this entire thing off. Oh. Well, for a bunch of stuffed animals? No, Come on. No, because of Robin. She... Maybe she'd feel better if she stayed here. She's so insecure, and I, and I know I have to make her feel better, but I can't because I feel the same way. Look, I'm no authority on child behavior, but uh, the kids really don't like change. That's not it. They're still both kind of upset about Duke. But it didn't come out like that. It came out about the suitcase and what she had to take and how heavy it would be and silly. I wish I could go along and carry it for you, but I have other commitments. Mm. Greta, I know. No, I really don't know where that's going to lead, so... Uh... To your happiness, I hope, my sweet dear friend. I hope you do think of me that way. I mean, forget the sweet and dear part. Friend. The very best. Okay. I guess that gives me the liberty to ask some pertinent questions. You can ask anything you like. All right. Two questions. First, aren't you still in love with Duke? And second, aren't you running away? <laughs> General Hospital will continue in a moment. If only a friend could ask you those questions, Anna, a good friend, because he doesn't want you to make a mistake. Sean, the biggest mistake I ever made was Duke. You haven't answered my question. All right, I'll answer your question. No, I'm not in love with him. He is no longer a part of my life. I've cut him out. I don't believe that. Well, you better believe it. It was... Yes, it was painful, but it was necessary. Oh, now, come on. I don't think you can live without that. Yes, man. I can. I can. I will learn to. I will try. As for the other question, I'm not running away. I, I, I'm trying to find out what I'm supposed to do with the rest of my life. I, I wish I could persuade you to stay, see, do... No, no, no. We're going to New York. We're going. We okay. Go now? Yes, darling, we have to go. Every time. I told my friends not to be sad. I don't want to waste them. Well, honey, that's okay. They'll keep an eye on things while you're away, okay? Hmm? Okay. Okay, well, we'll take the biggest suitcase we have, and we will take all of the stuffed animals you possess. We'll take them with us. That's okay. I'll manage. Okay. We'll manage. You heard what she said. Like mother, like daughter. <clears throat> I'll take these out of the car. I was wondering about that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not terribly good company, am I? Neither am I when I'm fighting with Bobby. Which is just my point. You know, every couple on Earth goes through hell once in a while in their relationship. I'm not trying to say that Lolian wasn't a nightmare. It was. But as bad as it might have been, it's not worse than some people have it. They get through it, Duke, and so will you and Anna. If I told Anna the truth, uh, she and Robin would have been at risk. Anna knew I was keeping something from her. I don't know what she... I don't know what she suspected. She never said... She just tried to trust me. She did trust you. <laughs> Look what that car. Smeared all over the newspaper by Mark Carlin, thanks to Camellia. That's the wonder is Anna accepted my lies for so long. They weren't exactly lies. What do you want to call them, then? Evasions? It's the same thing. But they had to be. <laughs> Don't you see that? From the very beginning, our relationship was doomed. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the no-smoking light. We ask that you extinguish all smoking material and retrieve your seats and tray tables to an upright... I still say it's not hopeless. We are now beginning our descent into... Oh, how can you say that? Everything I try to achieve is gone. 
Every dream is shattered. Me protecting Anne and Robin. Me no, beginning a family. I'm stubborn. You're worse than I am. You're not only stubborn, you're foolish. What can I do? Go to her. As soon as we land her, call her at least. I won't do any good. You're not going to find that out unless you try. She probably won't talk to me. Well, then I'll be wrong. Look, you said you lost everything anyway. What have you got to lose? I think it's pointless. All right, give up. And it's certainly not worth fighting for, is she? I never said that. do. They speak louder than words. You're right. I'll do it. Anne and Robin are worth fighting for. I'll go straight over, then I'll break down the door if I have to. Here, I want you to chew this if your ears start to hurt. Mommy doesn't like me chew gum. Oh, I'm sure she won't mind this time, will you? No, I wouldn't mind this time. I might have a piece myself. Okay, honey, if the gum doesn't work, when the pressure starts, I want you to do this. I want you to hold your nose, puff out your cheeks, and blow like this one. That looks stupid. I know, but it works. It makes your ears pop. We'll remember, <laughs> won't we, darling? Okay? Attention, please. The last shuttle to New York is now boarding for gate two. That's you. Come on. Yeah. Uh, well, I hug you. Are you kidding? I'm going to hug you goodbye. I'm going to hug you hello when you come back. Mm. Me too, please. Oh, especially you. Mm. Now, you have fun in the Big Apple and yeah. be good. Well, if we want to be good, we'll be careful. <laughs> okay. All right. And you, young lady, I want a couple of postcards from you. I mean, something like the Empire State Building with King Kong hanging on the side. Yes, right? well, we'll do our best. Got your tickets? I have. It's all here. Good. You go on. We'll be fine. All right. I'll leave you here, then. I want to get back to the hospital and check the security. Oh, yeah. I hope everything's OK with Greta. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Uh, and thanks for driving us. All right. Thanks. Fine. Yeah, thank thanks you. for everything. Thank okay. you. Sean? What's we do? You promise that you'll come and see you. Come on. Honey, I promise I'll see you. You have a good flight and a great time, all right? I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. 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 Let me just do that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah. There's the phone. You make the call, I'll get the cab. Okay. Boarding passes, please. Mommy? Yeah. Stop on us? No. It's strange. There's no answer. Oh. Oh, we can stop off on the way home. No, it's too late. I'll call first thing in the morning. Well, that's what I like to hear. Welcome home. Well, it's going to be better hearing it from her. I can't wait to see that. I'm sure she can't wait to see you. Let's get going. The meter's right. Mommy. Yeah. What the stewardess gave me. Oh, lovely, darling. Great. Why are we taking off? Don't be nervous. I'll take care of you. It's going to be fun after all. You are right. Give me a hug. Sometimes it's hard to want to. Yeah, that's right. Maybe you can't have it all. 
I know how important your work is to you. But what about me? Is there any question about how I feel about you? No. But when Tanya died, you told me to tell you if you ever took me for granted. Or if you ever get so wrapped up in your work that you, you lose sight of us completely that I was supposed to let you know. Well, I'm letting you know right now. Please tell me that I'm not going to have to be alone like Tony. Please tell me that. feeling you were expecting somebody else. No, no, just surprised. Please come in. Thank you. Okay. I also get the feeling you're disappointed it's me and not somebody else. Oh, no, I'm thrilled to see you. I'm really glad everything worked out with you and Camelia. Thank you. We're very lucky and we some wonderful help. Yeah. Hey. You've been crying. Things have been getting to me with Frisco. Do you want to tell me about it? Oh. Frisco's involved with an assignment on the WSB, and he really loves it. And I know that I can't compete with it. And what's worse, it's very dangerous. And he loves that part of it, too. I just... I just feel so stupid because I, you know, I just cry all the time. Shoulder. Well, if you need a shoulder to cry on, I'd say my time is perfect with you. Oh, well, I think maybe I'm just building this whole thing up too much. Besides, my problems are nothing compared to what you've been through. No, I won't let you say that. Why? I see this. Nothing more important than the love between two people. There's nothing else I learned that much after what I've been through. So it really is important, and love is important to life. And Without it, your life can be kind of empty. Oh, Duke. No, it's okay. You see, to love someone is, well, it's better than nothing. I still love Anna very much. And of course, little Rob and I, I still love her too, but, well, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it when I have to face the fact that maybe they no longer love me. Well, I won't let you say that either. Well, I guess now you know why I've come here. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna fight for her. I'm gonna fight very, very hard for her. I have to know what the odds are, though. Can you tell me? Tell you? I don't know what you mean by the odds. How does she feel about me? You saw her while I was gone, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you don't have to protect my feelings. How does she feel? She's hurt. She's very hurt. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, she would be. Well, sometimes the hurt goes so deep that you don't really know how to handle all the other feelings. What did she say about me? She was so hurt. Uh, she didn't really want to talk about you. You don't have to be kind, you know. You can tell me. All she said was that he would no longer be in her life anymore. I'm sorry. No. No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry for me. I know she's left poor Charles. She's, she's taken Robin with her. But do we know she'll, she's gone forever or will she come back? Well, you can't really be sure. I'm not trying to be nice. No, I know, but I get the feeling you're not certain. She's not going to come back. Well, she's very strong, and she's got a lot of pride. And I like to think that maybe she's got some people here that she loves, and she has friends, and Robin, and... And there are some people important to Robin, too. And her three godfathers, whom she just adores. And Anna's a fighter. 
She may not fight for herself, but... She would do battle with anyone or anything for Robin's sake. Oh, yeah. She would. No. So, yeah, she might come back to Port Charles and try to remake her life. Might. I can't be positive about that either. Oh, well, might's a straw, you know. No, nah, I don't want to go clutching at straw. I mean, she just might not ever want to see me again, ever. But you can't be positive. Have you talked to anybody else? I would talk to Sean, but, well, he's deeply involved in something. Well, there's Buzz. He may know a lot more about Anna's feelings than I do right now. I could talk to Buzz. Hmm? I'll do that. And thank you. You know, your friendship is very, very important to me. You're a good friend. I'm lucky. Thanks. Go see Buzz. I will. Before I go, you promise me one thing. What? Don't you give up on Frisco. You take that one extra step. Do you hear me? What you used to have is very, very precious.